if I create a world, it just calls it world creative. And that world, if I've just built something amazing in it and I want to save it, I can navigate to its file and I can change the name of it. So let's just see what it looks like when I join it. Okay, awesome world. I'm gonna go ahead and put a brick right there. Okay, this will remind me that's my world. If I escape and I quit the title, and I start game. Now it's world with a little dash on it. Every time I create a world, it makes a little dash after it. So there's the first uh, default world, and here's the second one. If this world has something really special for me, and I want to save it, as many kids will. I can uh, navigate over to the file manager. First, it's often a good idea to minimize by just clicking on, on Minecraft, because Minecraft tends to run a lot of stuff. Now, if looking in my home pie directory, I see here's these documents, but what I want to do is go to View, Show Hidden. And when I do that, I open up the Minecraft, uh, I open up to a bunch of hidden files, and Minecraft is one of them. If I double click on Minecraft, then double click on Games, I get to the Mojang and the Minecraft Worlds. And look, there's the new world I just created. I called it World with a dash. If I right click on this file, if I open it, I'll see it's a bunch of things, a bunch of program things that really don't make much sense. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to rename this one as Adam's Awesome World. Now I say OK, Adam's Awesome World. If I go back to Minecraft and I start game, now it says Adam's Awesome World. So that's how you save them.